Hi, it's Kirby Summers, and I welcome you to my True Crime Podcast. Today is May 21st, year 2024. It's Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Before I get started, uh, do me a favor, give this a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, because not only do I upload um, complete podcasts on this channel exclusively, but I also give you guys an update every now and then about articles and stories and things I'm investigating, which I add either to my Patreon and or to my Substack. So um, I just uploaded, this is a preview, by the way, I uploaded a patron-only podcast um, regarding uh, a very likely scientific study that was going on at the ranch in New Mexico. I'm going to try to stay light on a couple of words. And um, what this reminded me of, because there is a woman who survived a certain ordeal at the ranch, um, who woke up in a kind of laboratory setting. And when I heard that story, I was reminded of the fact that I, while I was working on one of my books, I kind of bumped into a similar situation with another woman. However, in that case, um, that woman is connected to Robert Maxwell, who we know fell or was pushed off his yacht, dubbed the Lady Galen, on November 5th, 1991. And of course, who doesn't know that he was the father of Galen Maxwell? Now, Jeffrey Epstein purchased Zorro Ranch in 1993, so not long after Robert Maxwell. However, unlike what some indie media uh, podcasters claim, it's not like, uh, you know, what they've said is almost like Robert Maxwell had an operation going and then it was handed over to Epstein. That's really not the case. There are individual people, including Wexner, who I write about very often. And if you haven't read my series, Deconstructing Wexner, which is only on my Substack, I highly recommend you do so because then you will be able to see how this precedes Epstein by many, many decades. In any event, regarding the podcast that I just uploaded to Patreon, there was a certain medical experiment, and this woman also woke up in a laboratory setting, and in this case, it was connected to Maxwell. And so, uh, in in that respect, um, these things were similar to me. However, I have also noticed that uh, there are a couple of Uh, people who are indie, uh, who are talking about this story, and who uh, seem to only go back to a certain period in time regarding some of these events. And so in my podcast of earlier today, um, I kind of tie it into something that happened before. And so I just, you know, I go further uh, than I think people do. I don't know if it's intentional or if it's just that it's just not researched deep enough you know I can't really tell Uh, I do know that this is not an area that is normally talked about Uh, we all have heard about all of the scientists who visited uh, and you know it wasn't just Epstein's island although for some reason uh, there just seems to be a a major focus on the island Uh, Epstein was involved of course with MIT, with Harvard, and the connection, let's say, for example, between um, Epstein and Leon Black um, can be traced also to Wexner, but again, it predates Epstein, and that can be found on my substack in Deconstructing Wexner, so that 
people who seem to only be focused on one layer of this kind of then make it so that, oh, this happened, uh, let's say, between a, a certain year and then it, quote, ended at the year that Epstein is, is suicided. Well, that's really not the way that I have looked at this even before starting to uh, work on this in July of 2019, which is right around the corner. Um, so in any event, I am being a little vague because we're on this platform. Uh, if you haven't joined me on my Patreon and you wanna listen to one of the experiments that I came across years before I heard this woman talk about what happened to her and which happened to somebody else, again, connected to Robert Maxwell, not connected to Epstein, then, you know, take that leap of faith and join me there. Okay, guys, don't forget, give this a like and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.